Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Um, today I think I've got my own music on because they blocked uh, the last video because I used the Eagles or somebody uh, was on the radio. So today I put some one of my garage band songs on there so you can get me YouTube. So um, anyway, let's talk about different hats and stuff. And like when you walk into a hat store, what do you pick? Um, let's assume you've already chosen hat over cap. You've made that decision already. All right. First thing you want to do is get your size. We worked on that in the last video. The size is uh, it's a whole issue in itself. Generally, we fall between sizes a little bit. I usually recommend going for the bigger of the two when you're between and have somebody just shim it a little bit underneath the sweatband with a piece of foam. Bam, it's a little smaller. So if you're between uh, medium and large, make it medium and a half by sticking some stuff in there. Rather than taking the medium and stretching it, you take the large and tighten it. Okay, that's the concept. Moving on, um, after that I'd like to talk about brim size. How big is the brim? Now I've got a two and a half, actually a two and three eighths inch, which is a very classical size of brim. Two and three eighths is like the the classic fedora. You can say two and two and a half inch, two and three eighths is a tiny bit neater than that, a little smaller. I'll show you two and a half. Okay. All right. Now this is a two and a half inch brim. It's basically the same thing, but you can see it's a little bit wider. It's a big brim, okay? It's not the biggest, but it's the biggest that a lot of companies make. To get to a three inch brim or something like that, you usually have to go custom. Now, um, I believe there's a window that, you know, like for me, this is the smallest I like to go. I like to go as big as a three inch brim. Um, or even a little bit bigger, but I know I don't like anything, anything smaller than two or three inches. Here's my three inch brim. Now I've got a lot of hair and stuff, so I think it kind of balances out. It doesn't look huge on me. But if my hair was tied back, or hey, morning, if I had a short haircut, it would look probably really bad. Ridiculous, whatever. So it's right for, for me now. Um, two and three eighths. Two and a half. And your three inch print. Those are big brim stores. Um, now it doesn't mean if you're a big guy, you have a, you have a fat face that you have to get a big brim. Kinda, but not really. Um, I've seen some, you know, the really big guys with the wide faces. They have to get a brim, like let's say they want the short brim look. They have to go with the medium brim, you know? So like a medium brim will look short on them. Um, it's all relative and stuff. They might not be able to wear a one and a half inch brim, but like the two will look nice and, and small in them. So, you know, they could do short brims, medium brims, large brims. But uh, first of all, it depends on the style you're going for. And you have to ask yourself what you're going for. Do I want uh, something, I want to do that brim up look, um, kind of modern, or do I want something with the brim down look, more of a, you know, Clark Kent type of thing, where I want to go, you know, not so retro, a little more GQ. Something very, um, very fashionable and Italian, um, simple, modern, dressy. Do I want it casual and earthy? I want it to be rock and roll. What is your goal? What are you looking for? The more you tell your salesperson, um, the more you talk to him, the more they should be able to vibe that out. Um, a lot of hats are versatile too. You can do many different things. Uh, with this hat, I've got my up look, my down look. You could even do everything down. You could get a kind of a floppy thing if you want. There's a few different looks. I could do some different things with the crown here too. There's another one. All right. All right. Now getting to different brims. I believe there should be a good balance. You want to look at the guy in the brim. First of all, you don't want the man's face to look fat. If you buy a, a brim that's just too small, a person who is not even a fat guy could appear to look puffy in the face. Um, especially showing from the long hair. For instance, if I take a small brim in here, okay, like this is a, a one and three eighths, it's smaller than one and a half. If I wore that with my face, okay, it's not the worst thing. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a skinny guy too, if you look at my arms. But to me, 
think a little bit more brim might have a little more style. To other people, the absence of a brim, having almost no brim at all, looks stylish. Um, you gotta try it out, and that's it. Kevin from JJ Hat Center. See you in the next bid.